Hi, my name's Kevin Holmes. I'm here to talk about a uh, useful technical tip when you're installing a new clutch in a Nissan GE Patrol that runs a 2.8 litre turbo diesel engine. And this one is, a, is an example of a technical tip where sometimes it's the simple things that can make all the difference in terms of the, the result you achieve from an installation. So in this case, it's very straightforward. We recommend or we provide a self-aligning bearing in this application. A self-aligning bearing is where the actual bearing uh, face can move independently of the rest of the bearing. And this allows the bearing face to locate itself in the optimum position uh, in the application. First of all, you have to just verify that you've got free plate in the bearing face. And you do that, you can just put your fingers in either side and you shift. You make sure that it's called float, but if the bearing face can move independently of the rest of the bearing, you have float and you've got a good bearing. The second step is to make sure that it's roughly centre. And once you've confirmed that you have float or free plate in the uh, bearing, you then remove the old bearing from the bearing carrier in the vehicle and you need to achieve a press fit of the new bearing to the carrier. It's very important that that press fit is made uh, nice and straight and true so that the bearing is square to the bearing carrier. Uh, that's best achieved by using a vise. A vise by its very nature will compress it evenly uh, and give you the best result. So this technical tip is uh, an example of one that's quite simple but often it's the simple things that make a difference. So we recommend that you make sure that it's a square fit, install it, you'll get the best result from the installation. If you need any more assistance, by all means give us a call on 1300 369 787.